What's up guys? We get zero views here. My name is Talos and yes, we are here with a brand new series known as I thought it was reloaded for, you know, for a long time, but it's just reload. But um, I had a lot of recommendations for my friends to play this game. Never got a chance to play it. I have played other Persona games like Persona 4 and Persona 5. Um, I complete Persona 5 multiple times. Uh, Persona 4, I actually haven't completed fully yet, but I got a gist of like a lot of this stuff there. And I've, obviously I love the music of the game. I skipped a lot of the intro stuff because it's highly copyrighted music. But gotta have that gotta have iconic music. Iconic. But uh, yes, background brightness looks good, looks fresh. And it's, only, it's only in the cafe that I play it. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start a new game. Let's do this. All right, we're going with the normal mode for experienced players. Yeah, we're not we're not going this. Uh, like at least not yet. Maybe in like my third playthrough, maybe. Time waits for no one. All are equal in its flow. All lives born to its end. You, who will protect the glimmer of the finite future, you have a single year. Go forth and live in a time given to you. Even in these hallowed days of reverse, let your heart guide you and never stray from its path. Oh damn! I'm excited. I, like I said, I know a little bit about the game. I know like the the, the mechanic of getting your persona. Um, that's why they had that little warning in the very beginning about the whole, you know, the suicide thing. The depiction of suicide. Obviously, trigger warning for those that have experienced that or know anything about that in your lives. But uh, that is definitely one of the, the big depictions here in this game that they, you know, um, I guess, in order to get your persona. But uh, definitely, definitely take that very seriously. That's just a little thing from PSI, PSA? PSA, yeah, for me. To my head. Oh no, here it is. Already. And then the trigger. Trigger warning already. Come on. I even I feel uncomfortable with this. Way. I can't. Ooh. That went really real. Really, really, really real. The one thing I will say about the game is like uh, the story always like, uh, drives you right in. Uh, like when I first played Persona 5, I was like I, I was instantly hooked, instantly hooked. Midnight. It's always midnight. I arrived so late. I better hurry up. Give up Todai dorms. That's where I'll be staying from now on. It should be just up ahead. I mean, the fact I saw a bull in the background, I, I'm not in the right station here. What the jeez? This is like normal to you? Like you're not even gonna question the blood in the ground? Better keep my distance. Looks a little day. Yeah, <laughs> the blood. <laughs> even that you can hear the squish with the when you step on the blood too. The lights and the boobas all oh, guess the powers. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like the entire station is undergoing construction. Okay, I'm just exploring. Okay, wait a minute. The strip mall. We must be in the the metaverse now. Iwatodai dorm. Well, I'll probably have a list right now popping up of like what is a uh, you know different with reload compared to others but the mysterious boy welcomes me oh he disappeared you're late oh then I've right. been waiting a long time I like how he's not freaked out by this he's like this is normal if you this wish is normal. to proceed sign your name here it's a contract oh did I I must have died there's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions.
All right. My name, my name is Talon. Talos. <laughs> did I spell it correctly? Yeah. Yes, you did. Go with this. Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. And so, it begins. The freaking voice is so ominous. Got that, got that Thanos snap. Who's there? How are you here at this hour? Don't tell me. She has a gun. Wait. Ooh. Hey, it's pretty now. Huh? The lights. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. You look quite old, older to be a student. Are we talking like college? Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Talk about what even gun? <laughs> huh? Well, uh, it's sort of like a hobby. I mean, not a hobby, but you know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. A taser? It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Well, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Here's your room. Pretty. Um, do you have any questions? Uh, th does that kid here live here too? What kid? What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. Oh no. They don't see ghosts. Uh, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? No, it's not. What do you mean? You don't know? I guess that means you're fine. Well, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'd better get going. Um. Yes. I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later. Okay. Good night. This is my room. Life in the dorm starts today. The room comes pre-furnished. That's nice and everything. I'm spent. I just put my things in the closet and get to bed early. All right. If it's anything like uh, the other Persona games, obviously, you know, you, you, you have the day in the life of a student, but you also have some craziness that happens and all that craziness that is with Personas. Yes, I know all that. All that good stuff. We're going to a preschool. Okay. If you, oh, yeah. Okay. I know that too. Tutorials. Sure. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to bed. Fully clothed. All right. Go to bed early. First day of school. I love school. 2009, okay. Wow, that's a long time ago. <laughs> it's Takeba. Are you awake? I'm gonna be quiet. We'll be the we'll be the the swipe character. Oh, I'm, going to get in trouble. I'm, I'm trying to be uh like cool about it. Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Okay. Are you ready to go? I can find myself. I'm so, I'm so rude. Okay, fine. I'm... Great, let's head out. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I honestly love it. It is pretty cool. Here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look! There it is now. Where? Oh. That's kind of cool. Morning. Konnichiwa. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. Man, the music is so good already. From here, right? 
No, I'm lost. Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. They got so noisy here with the oh, crowd. That about does it. Any questions before I go? Uh, what class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? Why? See you. I love the music already. I love the music already. I don't know, a small note off to the side. Class 2F. Okay, the name. Rakari Tabla is also on the list. Seems like I'll be in the same class as her. Okay, of course I am. But I hate my life! Huh? Oh, there it is. Class F, huh? Homeroom teacher is... What? Miss Toriyumi? I guess she is older than me. But I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. I have a question of Miss Kano, apparently. I am... I am lost. Oh, okay, no. um, but, uh, but but it's fine. Uh, two F. I know it's upstairs, but I just want to take a small gander around. Is there like a map? Oh, I love the menu screen. I love the menu screen. Also, our room here. Home economics. Oh, it is here. Yeah, enter. Are you the new student? Indeed I am. Huh. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, 10 years ago, your parents... I'm sorry, uh, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. What's your first name? You don't need to know my first name. <laughs> don't ask such things of a teacher. I got brushed up. Maybe I could have gotten a different response if I had enough charm to be smooth. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. Look at those eyes! <laughs> I'd the like moustache. you to remember the problem. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. <laughs> I guess we don't even want to hear a speech. Hey, hey! You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? What, what do you want to know? Oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. <laughs> she does. Ah, oh, man, I knew it. I mean, why wouldn't she, right? Wait. How close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. What's up, dude? How's it going? You must be a main character. <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. And you are? Me? Call me Junpei. Junpei Yuri. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. It's pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? Hey, it's Yukatan. Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who would have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? What a coinkidink! I know, but still, I was a little surprised. Um, uh, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Yeah, seriously. Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now oh, I'm worried. You didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? You know what? Don't tell me you forgot already. <laughs> seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? That may that makes it sound like more incriminating than what it like in the at like the other term, not just what I saw with the her, her with the gun. <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly, that's what I was saying. What? 
last night. <laughs> Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez, I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. <laughs> or do they? But hey, it's your first day here, and people are already talking about you. I'm famous. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You're ready to head out. We can walk to the station again. Do I want to do that? Yo. Should we also take a round of school while we're at it? Just follow you around if you want to leave and head for the front entrance. All right, yeah, sure. If you try and leave, you better go to floor drown. Yeah, well, would you forget or something? Kind of did. Kind of did. Where are we going again? I'm oh, sorry. I forgot. Right. I've been trying to think of something else to call you, but I'm coming up to squat. Talus it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Is he following me? Leave me alone. Good grief. Because it's New Year doesn't mean that students should be running wild. This doesn't mean a reinforced order, that is, once I'm officially become a member of the disciplinary committee. You're making such a sour face again, oh, Oda Giri Skun. I guess some things never change. All the rumors. All the rumors. Yo. Ready to get out of here? Yeah, let's do it. That's right. Chatter, chatter. Chatter, chatter. Oh, check out the jacks in the run. Hey, you thinking about joining the club? Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Aw, oh, man. Your stop's at Iwatodai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Where do you live? Well, if you're not the dorms. So, see you tomorrow. Everyone's excited because school's starting, but I don't really care. The, the news has been really weird lately. I even saw some politi uh, politicians. Policemen around like, earlier. So sad. Oh, I guess a new school semester started. I was wondering why I've been seeing so many students around. There was a strange place these days. These kids better prepare themselves for the future. You're seeing a call from this area. Is everything okay? Uh, oh. Not this again, it's the same as that weird syndrome being reported all over the news! I don't know what else I can do, so I guess I'll return to dorms. Welcome back. How was your first day at school? Tiring. Tiring. Bruh. It might be overwhelming at the beginning, but you'll get used to everything in due time. But for now, you should go back to your room and rest. I forgot what my room was. Was it this one? Yeah. I'm just checking everything to make sure, like, because usually they have, like, stuff in there I can probably do. Like, I know in Persona 3, there was, like, you could check the fridge every single day to, like, find, like, random, random food and perks and stuff. All right. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. Ooh. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. What do you mean them? Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Akihiko, okay. I mean, he's a confident student, so... I can hear people talking about me! Hey, have you heard the rumor about, uh... What was it again? The bathroom? We're talking about that one girl, right? The second year? She stopped uh, coming to school and just sits around staring at walls all day long. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing that she says is, It's coming. It's coming. Is that really how the story goes? Eh, whatever. Uh, it's probably all made up anyway. So disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school, okay? Do early morning, afternoon already. 
open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Shinshu Kashai. Uh, why him? I've been more interested in Kaniko. Kaniko's work lately. His essays are fantastic. And he's also a famous uh, haiku poet. Uh, I wonder why all this isn't in the textbook. Well, I guess it just brings his book the next time. I'll just bring his book next time. Speaking of haiku, they often use words or phrases related to seasons, but it's easy to get, make them, get them mixed up. For example, you take tasty bamboo shoots and uh, vivid charm streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on lunar calendars, making it fairly complicated. Hey, hey Lori, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, a rain of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid charm streamers, which one symbolizes summer? What? Oh, what? Oh, tell us. You were listening, right? I'm gonna burn their hand. All right. What phrase symbolize summer? You didn't mention the other stuff. Yep, that's right. So you were listening to me after all. By the way, mystical mirage and a rain of flowers represent spring. Okay. A mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June. And rain of flowers re re refers to the spring showers. Around that time, cherry blossom, you know, blooms. It's not literally raining flowers. Make sure you remember that, all that. Ooh, okay. So obviously, if, if, if they like the other games, I usually kind of cheat on my exams. But I'm gonna try to see if I can memorize these things. If not, I will definitely fail my exams. <laughs> hey, well, you know how much I like to pay attention. Oh, Man, Susie you saved my bacon there. Ashton Koo gave, gave gave him answers just now. He must have a good memory of something. I hear students whispering. It becomes slightly more popular. Oh yeah, give me that perk. Uh, Iwatodai. I can't pronounce that word. Iwatodai uh, strip mall is bustling with activity in the afternoon. Okay. Oh damn! What's happening here? He's back. So this is our new guest. Good evening. Are you the one that like sleeps across the hall away from me? My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school, Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I don't know, what, what did I do? I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. That's not my room? Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh, why are you here? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? I always mind. Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. But it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? Yeah, who else lives here? There are only four students in this dorm. So this big-ass building only has four students? Okay. That's, that's sus. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Yeah, they're nice. Saw... You saw... something strange? Like what? <sighs> oh no, she's, she's uncomfortable. You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. I think you know. I think you know. Yeah, Any exactly. Apparently not. <laughs> Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. What's with people tell me to go to bed early? As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Oh, there's the phrase. Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Yeah. Clever, isn't it? Yeah, dude. Yeah. You'll get used to his lame jokes. I guess I'll head back to my room too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. I suppose. Hello there. They're watching me sleep. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. So chairman, freaky. Do you think he's? Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Oh no, the dark hour. Oh no, what does that even mean? The dark hour. Huh? 
Oh no. So you saw the coffins as well. What the? What is happening? He's melting? What's happening to me? What the G? What? Hmm. <laughs> He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be. As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, wow. though, spying on him like this. Oh, no. Are we here? Oh, there, Igor. Igor's back. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh, I guess I guess technically he's was back because he's been in every game since I played. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. So that little kid. Do I need to sign another contract? From now on, okay. you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability. And you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. My life? My soul? Abide by your contract. And assume full responsibility for the choices you make. This is, I don't understand. I do, but I don't. That is fine. For now. Hold on to this. What is it? Oh, Velvet Cube. Until we meet again. Wow. Wow, indeed. Feels like I had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. <laughs> yeah. You say that, brother. Alright. In times like this, the best course of action is to sleep during class. That adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher can really spice up your dream. <laughs> Don't sleep in class. Whoa! You take study pretty seriously, but it takes real courage to step sleep in class, you know? Then again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed with later. Oh! Oh, but we have a classic literature today. That means we'll stuck with Mr. Nasty Old Ikodai. Alright, Mr. Kodabi, your classic literature teacher. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people are, say classic lit isn't literature anyway, but oh, they're wrong. The students, uh, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't really understand like they do. They should. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my phone in a few minutes? Stay awake. I don't, think I, I, think, I don't think I have enough courage to do this. So I'm gonna stay awake. Open up your textbooks first on the syllable of Aishi Monogatari, the origin of the Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You, you youngsters might even call it the bomb. Can't tell you people are zoning out on me. I first have to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Oh, I got something. I got academics. Welcome back. You're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Of course, of course. Are you gonna spy me again? All right, we can look at the map now, which is cool. All right, uh, I'm, pro I'm gonna stop here for now. I'm probably gonna go to my dorms and maybe maybe do a quick save if I can. But uh, actually, can I save right now? Yeah, I can. Well, that's cool. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for the view. Obviously, we went ahead and saved. I'm not really sure what's really happening here because of this whole midnight hour thing. Actually, no, midnight hour was, was, was from Persona 4. Um, so this one's like dark hour, but it's kind of the same concept anyway. 
but I'm curious to see what that all entails because some freaky stuff happens people turn to coffins in the midnight hour or <laughs> the di dark hour um, but uh, I don't know I guess we'll find out next episode but thank you guys so much for the view again and I'll definitely see you there my name is Talos this is Persona 3 Reloaded I mean Reload and I'll definitely see you there Peace.